Hi and hello, I'm the bastard. And well, do you hear something different uh, in the quality of audio today? Hmm. If you say yes, you will be absolutely correct because I have replaced my um, USB to microphone cable. Um, I have a new ca cable thing. The last thing that I had was this one, and for some reason it didn't like uh, the monitor for some reason, so it started making this weird noise when, whenever I was recording. So now it's fixed. It should be fixed now. And I hope you people are happy uh, to listen my new audio quality voice. Um, anyways, that's not the thing that I am um, going to talk about uh, today. Um, the thing that I want to talk about today is um, racing games, car games. Um, you may know those car games where they like brack that how realistic they are and how great they are and how they have spent like many many hours tuning out the physics of their cars and well for game developers who make these racing games um, I have just one question for you have you ever driven a fucking car in your entire damn life what car starts spinning around like a yo-yo when you make even the slightest turn in uh, in in attempt to turn your car into the fucking right direction? I whenever I p play these new car racing games, I feel like I'm playing cars on ice. They just just start spinning uncontrollably. And there's no sense to it. What car works like that? You know, I've driven a lot of cars in my life, and I've, I've even driven them fast and done a few dangerous turns, but not once in my life has any of the cars that I've driven, even a little bit dangerously, has done this when I turned the wheel! That's... Just for fuck's sake! Where do you get your physics from? Movies? Even movies, they don't start doing like, going like this. Spinning like a fucking top spin. It's annoying to enjoy a racing game where it feels like I'm Disney on ice. It, it makes, reminds me of my earlier days at driving school when we went into this oil field to get a real grasp on what you need to do when you lose co complete control over your car. It's like, have you heard of physics? Have you heard of, uh, you know, just thing called as friction? Because your cars, your so masterly designed cars that you've put so much attention to you, feels like that I'm driving on ice with slick tires that are smooth as baby's butt. It's just, and even then, even on ice, I, I have more control over the, over a real car with real, like, slim, baby smooth tires that basically doesn't have any friction at all then I have uh, driving a video game car that's supposed to have so damn realistic controls. Oh, here I am, driving like 50 miles per hour. <coughs> you know what happens to a real car when it starts to spin like that? It rolls fucking over! <coughs> Come on! The only good car games that I have played uh, has been uh, like the car games where car behaves like a fucking car. Even Lotus Turbo Challenge has way more realistically behaving cars than car games today. And in those games, then the car behaves like I asked them to behave, not like uh, like fucking top spin. Just, just where the fuck do you get your physics from? Why? Just, just why? Why is it so difficult to make a simple 
uh, enjoyable car game where turning is fucking possible. Jeez. Fuck these car games. Especially new ones. They, they fucking blows. Anyways, I'm the bastard. <coughs> really start to get thirsty. <coughs> See you in my next video, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you like, and enjoy your car games.